top of the morning to y'all, man. Uh, today, we're going to talk about beats and uh, beat styles and stuff. So, like production, time to get the beats, the beat makes them shine, you feel me? So, um, when it comes to beats, I really think that there are more genres than just the mainstream genre. Like, there's pop beats, of course, there's trap beats, of course, but there are so many different flavors you can choose from. Like, um, a good example is like Drake or Kanye West, Kanye West especially, and stuff like that. Um, production like um, Nas. Um, don't be afraid as rappers or artists or singers or whatever to branch out, like bring some new flavors, you know, because there's a lot of stuff that's happening abroad that is really good, but there's not much that we can do. So don't be afraid to branch out. Um, I know like take the Afro beats, for example. I know Drake can hop in on like the Afro punk, not Afro punk, um, dance hall type beats. Those are really good. Um, you know, belly dance beats. I like those beats. They make, they work well. I like old school beats a lot. The kid can go wrong with some old school smooth jazz beats. Don't be afraid to branch out, you know, because um, to me, and more importantly now than ever, if I'm trying to listen to an artist, I want him to stand out. And production is usually the first thing that gets people hooked to a song, me especially. So if I hear a unique beat, I'm more open to hearing you as an artist. Like, because think about it. With all the people flooding the market nowadays, there's millions of rap tracks being produced, but there's only few, like there's only so many people who can listen to it. So like, if you're a new artist trying to present something to me, the first track I listen to is my first, um, well, first reaction to you, first impression of you, right? So if the beat is nice and it's something that I haven't heard of before, like, I'll be like, oh, that's interesting. And I'll be, you pique my interest and I'll be listening more for like, um, your full rap voice when it comes on or something like that. If if it's if the beats aren't unique, more likely than not, I'm gonna ignore the piece. It's just like trap beats, you know, are overused. Same type of flow is overused. So if I hear another trap beat, I'm like automatically my mind thinks, you know, I already know what this artist is gonna sound like. Eh. Like, cause I listen to so many people's mixtape, you know. I'm I'm, I'm, that, I'm that type of guy who will actually listen to your mixtape, right? And if I hear just like trap beats, that's my first impression. But I'm like, yo, gosh. Then I won't. Then I'm less encouraged to look at the next piece. And even if I find another piece with just the same type of beats I hear all the time, I'm even less encouraged the next piece. By the third beat, I'm not even gonna listen to the rest of the mixtape. Let's be real. So, and then I could miss something really good. So, I recommend that artists branch out in terms of beats and production as much as possible. Some good producers I know that are really good, um, let's see, Nan Nanzo, I hope you guys hear my, I'll write his, I'll put the links below. Nanzo does a really good dance hall beat, stuff like that. Um, Toon Seeker, CJ Beats, Beatowski, those guys do some really good old school jazz hip hop beats. Um, who else is really good stuff? Um, my boy Zanotti, now he's really hard to flow on because his beats are kind of jazz, like jazz, Jazz is a little difficult, but it's a new challenge, and I recommend artists to hop on it. Like, his beats are a little, they change up a lot, a lot of switch up. So you, for people like Kendrick Lamar, people enjoy that type of stuff, to hop on his beats. I'll leave all these links to all these guys, but that should get you started. But you know, don't be afraid to branch out. Try some Dungeon Dance music for him. Try some Caribbean style music for him. On behind you. Try some, some jazz. Try, just try some classical. You can rock out the classical. Um, there's, there's some classical fusions of classical that, that really make it work. So, you know, I'm, like I'm saying, make your albums pop, make your artists' tracks pop, you know. And give production, you know, it's, give a, have an ear for production. Have an ear for some unique stuff, you know. Because as much as being unique as a rapper is, the production is half of the track. Like, it doesn't take just a rapper um, just to make a track. You need to have the beats to be working. So, like, I, I recommend that. That's just, now, this isn't really talking so much about the hip-hop game, but this, actually it is, but it's just like my general recommendation. So you can take it or leave it, but I recommend, if you want to sell me to your work, get some new. Try some anime beats, there's all kinds of stuff out here, man. Matt Houston's a good producer, Omar's a good producer, um, Black Triforce, I'll link all these guys down below. So check it out, man, just try something new for once. This has been the I'm Smash Live from the Multiverse. I'll see y'all tomorrow, and we'll do something special tomorrow. Peace.